All right, I had to re-record this part on uh, replacing the auxiliary fuel pump. Same process, same part number can be used as well to replace the fuel pump that's down um, in the bottom. That's the main fuel feed pump for the fuel filter. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot different because the, the, the ones like you saw, the, the little square boxy ones aren't available anymore. Um, this was the replacement. It took some work. The, the guys on the Steel Soldiers Forum helped me out. Uh, I get it from Summit Racing. Uh, I'll go, go over the part numbers and stuff after I talked about what I need to do to put it in. Um, one of the existing adapters with it, I used that. Screwed it in the bottom. I don't have the little screen filter in there anymore. Um, I decided to take that out. Um, you could put it in there if you wanted to. Um, then it comes with a little piece, and then I got a double-sided barb. Um, the threaded attachment points and the barbs that come with this pump are bigger than what the original ones were. And I needed a little bit of extra loop to get it to um, fit properly, so I decided to use the existing barb that came with it, the little... Um, length of hose and then a, a hose barb and just double clamped it up down there. Up top, I used a quarter inch NPT to one eighth NPT adapter and then used the existing 90 up there. It's really hard for me to get my camera in there and see it. Um, and it's super tight with the way I drilled the hole. Um, I'll show you the hole in a second. I used one of the existing holes from the square pump, but it does work. And then in order to hook it up to the electrical, um, you get your leads and they're just a blank end. I cut the wires off at the base of the existing pump. And then I just used some crimp connectors and heat shrink, uh, you know, match black up to black. The brown is the positive. And then that way you can use the um, factory plug-in instead of cutting that off. <clears throat> if you wanted to be a little bit more fancy and wait for the proper parts, um, it was shared with me by the guys on the Steel Soldiers form on my thread with all the work I've done on this generator. The part numbers for you to order so that you could just make the pigtail without cutting it off. I found it easier to just use the butt connectors. Um, as far as attaching it to the generator itself, obviously it, it just has sort of like a clamp thing. Um, you can see on the sides how there's like a little bit of red gasket material underneath. I added that so it held it a little bit tighter. Um, as you're looking in at where that pump would be, you can see that screw to the left. That was one of the existing of the two bolts that was used to clamp the old one on. I decided to use the right one and then I had to drill the hole bigger. I don't remember how big I had to drill the hole now because like I said, I, I thought I had a recording when I did it, but you can see it coming through. It's a little bit of a pain. Uh, but once you get it tightened up, it's going to hold there and, and not move. So it works. I tested it. Uh, it does move fuel. It's a little bit more noisy. Who cares? Um, I think it's more noisy too because it's uh, touching the top, like I said, at the 90 right there. Maybe if you were to do this and, and copy similar to my setup, uh, instead of using the existing hole, go maybe like half inch or three quarters inch lower and bolt it there so that way you have a little more room up top. Here's the uh, replacement auxiliary pump. That's your part number right there and I got this from Summit Racing. The Papa 74016. This box is just a general one that we use. You know, Here's the pump itself. You can see it's got bigger openings than what the old existing one did and then it just Open end wires. It comes with butt connectors, uh, uh, quarter inch to barb fitting, some hose clamps, the clamp that holds it in place, you know, a bunch of little the bolts, the hardware. Uh, that's what I was talking about. I use this, this, I got an adapter and put it up top. Uh, quarter inch NPT to one eighth again. And then this clamp, I noticed when it was clamped tight, it didn't really hold this that well. 
you know, it just sort of like sat in there and I could see during vibration that it would spin. That's why I put the little extra gasket. That could have just been on the one particular one I used and it's better. But uh, this is the part number to use. Um, and if for some reason you're watching this and you have other generators, the reason why I bought a second one is this can also be used in the other, like an MEP802 Alpha, an MEP803 Alpha. Um, it can be used in other 24 volt uh, applications. So I bought a second one to keep as a spare 